First of all, man, it's good to talk to you now that the dust has kind of settled on since we last saw each other in D.C. A lot obviously has happened since we got to celebrate on that floor. Uh, I want to go back to the night first that, you know, you, you got to cut down the nets and just kind of relive that for a minute. Hofstra gets that monkey off its back, erases the curse, whatever you want to say, wins the CAA. Your name, most outstanding player for the tournament. Just thinking back to that week, that weekend in, in D.C., what stands out to you about that, about that tournament, but especially about that night? Um, I, I think it's how well we use the sink on, on defense, you know, like to, to keep a, a team to 43 points and two to like 61 was huge for us. I told the team, because I, I saw some crazy stat on, on Twitter that like we was like 14 and one going up there with teams under 70 points. So I'm like, yeah, let's go see if this is true. You know, like our magic number should be 70 and let's try to keep everybody under 70 points and see what happens. And I guess it, it worked out the way it should have. And, and we was all focused, you know, like every dude knew that they had a job to do. And I think everybody was on, on point with what they had to do. I Your performance stands out to me, man, just because of how, and, and really turn, the tournament, itself but obviously all season long so it was the same thing like you didn't you weren't different a lot of guys getting that spotlight they get in a tournament like that with everything on the line that we had on the line and they change who they are and they try to do too much or they shrink in the moment or whatever it is you were the same guy you were even and yeah you guys played great defense throughout the tournament but you know Delaware made a run Northeastern made a run and that you know I, and we talked about it there were moments when it felt like uh oh here they come and you were always that calming influence, but also that guy to hit big shots and live up to the nickname. Uh, what What is it about your demeanor that, that you feel like allows you to to keep an even kill, to keep your pulse rate the same? To be honest, man, I feel like, I don't know cocky thing, but I just, I just feel like I'm built for those moments. Like, you know, I've lived for those moments for a very long time. So I just, and, and if, I, if I get out of control, then as a leader, what my teammates going to do? You know, if I start to panic and start to try to do too much, play hero ball, my teammates gonna look at me like, you know, looking crazy. Then they just gonna try to do whatever. So I always try to keep them composed. You know, like because we we've been in a lot of those situations before. It's not like we had five, like four uh, new new starters. You know what I mean? Like we got four, basically four starters returning. Jalen was basically a starter. You know, all his his career at Hofstra. So like. I'm like, you know, like, we've been here before. Like, you know, like, we know what it's like for teams going their run. They're going to go on their run, you know, but I just had to keep them composed, you know, like, and, and let them know, like, it's a game of runs. We're not going to have the perfect game where we up the whole game and everything going smooth. Like, no, it's a, it's a game of runs. They're going to go on their run eventually. Sometimes it's going to happen, but how, how can we limit their run, you know, and have us let us go on the run and then make our, our run big. So that was the main thing. I just knew if I, if I didn't keep my composure and stay calm, then my teammates wouldn't, wouldn't have, so. That was the main thing as me being the leader and looking at them like, you know, I, I'm here still. Like, yeah, we good. Like, you know what I mean? We, we've we been here before. Like, we did this before. So that was the main thing. It was impressive. And the team was impressive. But you, you in particular, it was really an impressive performance. Yeah, like, them, them, like you know, it's crazy. Um, like, against Northeast and, like, we, like, I started off playing well and we we, we started off missing a lot of shots, you know. Like, I, I I probably was, like, what, two for three or three for three or something like that, and the rest of the team, like, over oh, five, something like that. But, like, look at the course of the game. Jalen hits two big threes back-to-back. Tariq, he get an offensive rebound, and he had a big corner three. Uh, Isaac get an M1. Elijah hit – he had two pull-ups. One was a three off the screen. But he stepped behind the screen, hit a three. Like, so, I, I, I believe in my teammates just as much as they believe in me, you know, like. Kevin comes in the game. Kevin said that he gave us energy. You know, he he rebound the ball, staff. He he do he do everything he can in his power. You know, like those dudes come up the bench. Like, I believe in my teammates one hundred percent. So I go to war with my brothers any single day. So like I know they they got my back. So I got their back too. Your memory of that game is like we just finished. Like I feel like we're doing the interview after the game just ended. Like you still remember every detail. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, I can't. I, you can't forget that. Uh, that game was uh, so. So like so slow. You what? So you try to you remember a lot. Yeah, no, I, I mean look, I it was it was one of the coolest experiences I've I've had the pleasure of, of being around, especially in the sport of basketball, just watching the way you guys were locked in, everything on the line, all the pressure and the way that you delivered. 
by the time that I made it back to my home in Austin, Texas, uh, the following night, Wednesday night, Rudy Gobert was already being tested for COVID-19, and before we went to bed, the NBA had, like acted swiftly, postponed their season. Where were you when all of that was going down? What was going through your head? Uh, I came, I came home. I was with my brother, and that the, the news got out there. Whatever, it's tough, you know, because. 19 years, you know, we finally get over that hump. We finally get to put a show on a different pedestal. And that happens, you know. Like, you know, I, I never had the chance to play an NCAA tournament, even though I worked and got us to the promised land, but we still ain't be able to play. So that, 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 was, that was tough, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, the writing was kind of on the wall, I think, on Wednesday night. We had, I had an idea. If I'm being honest, I mean, I can sit here now and be like, yeah, I saw it coming. I knew what was about to happen. But it still didn't, for me, Wednesday night, it didn't click in my head. It wasn't until Thursday. And I was sitting right here in this chair, and I'm watching, you know, tournament after. First, they were going to play in front of no fans. And I was like, man, I'm selfishly, you know, maybe even ignorantly, I'm, I'm glad that, that we got to do the tournament the way we did it with fans there and all the fanfare and uh, I was feeling bad for those guys that weren't going to have any any fans in the arena, and then all of a sudden they just start canceling and canceling. Um, so on Thursday, you were locked in, man. You you had the major networks up, ESPN, Fox, CBS, whatever, trying to watch the tournament games and watching them get canceled. Yeah, like uh, I, like hats off to like you know, it, it sucks for players that definitely the, like the seniors, you know, like players like me, myself, Elijah, you know, dudes like that that's trying to you know make a way for themselves, you know what I mean? So even like the seniors in high school that don't have division one, you know, scholarships or even scholarships at all, division two, II, division three, you know, that don't have scholarships at all. So now like what do you, what do you do? You know? Like that that's tough for those those seniors in high school that people that first time, you know, trying to go to the twenty, you can't play, uh like that that that's tough, you know, because you don't get to, you know, give yourself that experience, that exposure, you know. It's tough, but I guess you just, I don't know, like, you, what you do, you move on? Like, it's not you can do about it, it's not that's in your control, you know, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of skipping ahead now, just, I mean, that's that's where I wanted to take this, too, is, like, you know, for you, you, you find out the NCAA tournament's canceled, what's your reaction, and, and you know, what's next for you? Because odds are it's going to drastically impact the NBA draft process. I'm guessing that, you know, workouts are going to get diminished if not canceled altogether. They haven't made an announcement yet about the, you being combine or anything like that, but you know, what's next for you? What does this do to you? Truth be told, um, I I don't know what's next. You know, like seriously, I don't know, and that's the the scary part about it. I really don't know what's next. You know, I was you know hoping to go to the tournament, put um my last name out there, you know, um, and win, you know, but. That didn't happen, so now I just don't know what's next, to be honest. I really don't. I got to sign an agent eventually at some point and see where it goes from then, but I, I really don't know. For you and, and for this team, I mean, just the NBA stuff aside, the, the pro stuff aside, just your legacy at Hofstra, you know, not and I know you didn't get to play an NCAA tournament game, and that there's no – there's no way to sugarcoat that, but just in terms of what you guys accomplished for the program, winning that league, cutting down the nets, you know, if if we want to try to put a, bro, a bow on, you know, what was a, a real abrupt end to your season, what what do you want your legacy to be at that at that program and, you know, moving forward? Well, um, I try I try to do everything the right way, you know, work hard, you know, on and off the court, um, be a good person. You know, um, and I I truthfully believe, like, it may not have shown my, my freshman, sophomore year, somewhat my junior year, my senior year showed a lot, but I put in a lot of work, you know. Um, I gave it all I had when I was out there. You know, the roles that I had that changed every single year, I just tried to perfect those roles, you know. I mean, as, an, as a freshman, I, I was playing behind the player of the year. My role was to give him some energy sometimes, you know, come to game, play as hard as I can, create, shoot when I was open, you know, defense, stuff like that. Sophomore year, I got hurt. Coming back that year, I had my, my role, I was coming up to bench again, my role was to 
you know, be I tried to be the energy guy, do whatever I can to stay on the floor. Um, during year eventually my role bumped up, you know, a little more. But I knew we had we had great scores on our team, so I was like, We need somebody to defend, you know what I mean? Like so I, I shot for the stars and I ended up being defensive player yeah, my senior year. I just, you know, I, I didn't come in that season with like, oh, I'm going to be this player on the team, da, da, da. I didn't come in that season like that. I just, I just worked extremely hard, and I let my, my work pay off, and that's what it did. So through all those years, I just tried to do whatever I can to win and, and you know, help myself and my team in that, that program. You know, we, I was talking to you yesterday. You were in the gym, you know, shooting around, so – I yeah, guess I was, you know, I was the only, yeah. I, what's your day look like right now? Your day to day, the the social distancing. Obviously, I mean, look, New York City is kind of a hotbed right now, and obviously, a lot of coronavirus cases coming up in in your backyard. So, you know, what are you doing right now? What's what's your day to day look like? Um, today, um, I'm a, I, me and my brother gonna do like, cause I'm not, I'm not with my brother right now. We're gonna do like a little FaceTime call, see if some of my my uh, close friends wanna do it too. You know, ring their phone too on the, the group FaceTime. We gonna do some push ups, you know. Do some push ups, some like body weight squats and stuff like that. So try to get some some work in, you know. Um might go I, I don't know yet. I'm deciding if I wanna go back outside. I'm I'm not trying to be too, you know, sick or nothing like that. I already got a little little cough, but that's what I'm trying to do, you know, trying to be productive, you know, do something while not just in the house for a whole month or whatever it is so just trying to you know keep my body in shape no doubt well look I, like i was telling you man our inside look at, at hofstra's run to the caa crown will drop this week um it's a must see if you're a pride fan but even if you're just a fan of college basketball and given the way everything played out i'm so glad we got to do it you know if nothing else it's cool that you guys were the last team to to get to cut the nets down and and punch your ticket to an NCAA tournament that didn't happen. So I'm glad we were there to be able to document it. I'm excited for you to see it. I'm excited for your fans to see it. And look, as always, man, it's, it's been a pleasure getting to know you this month. Uh, I really appreciate your time now, as always. And I wish you the best of luck this spring, man. I want you to keep us in a loop. Let us know how it's going for you. I'm looking forward to tracking your progress. And, and look, bumping the road, but what I know will be a great career for you at the next level. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Glad we got to know each other, <laughs> get around each other, um, answering all these questions. I appreciate it, man. Nah, of course, man. It's it's like I said, it's my pleasure. Um, I hate that it happened for y'all the way that it did, man. But again, it's it's cool that we were able to at least document it a little bit, get you a little something extra uh, to to go back and watch. I I watched it again before I talked to you this morning. I think you'll like it a lot. It's pretty cool. And uh, and you know what? I'll talk to you again soon. When you get on an NBA roster, we'll uh, we'll do it again. We'll talk about what happened over the next couple of months to get you there. Yes, sir. All right, George. Be safe, man. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, sir. You too. All right, bro.